Back in 1974, the great Leiji Matsumoto, creator of shows like Space Pirate Captain Harlock and Galaxy Express 39, as well as a lot of other series, along with writer Yoshinobu Nishizaki, created an anime series called Space Battleship Yamato, or Star Blazers in the US. In 2012, this franchise would get a reboot in the form of Space Battleship Yamato 2199, or once again Star Blazers 2199 in the US. This was fantastic news for fans of Yamato, but for newer watchers, it poses a question. Which version should you watch? Well, strap yourselves in, because that's exactly the question that I aim to answer in this video. So before we get into the different versions, let's just get the synopsis out of the way. The year is 2199. The Earth is under constant bombardment by aliens from the Garmilas Empire. This has forced humanity underground to escape the irradiated surface. However, the deadly radiation is inching closer and closer, and threatening humanity with extinction. With all hope seemingly lost, a sudden emergency transmission from a planet called Iskandar in a neighboring galaxy offers the people of Earth a way to remove the deadly radiation. However, in order to get this, they need someone to travel all the way from Earth to Iskandar and back in less than a year. Otherwise, the planet will be doomed. An engine that can reach top speeds faster than light itself is created, and the World War II era battleship the Yamato is reborn as Space Battleship Yamato. Now the Yamato and her crew is setting out on a journey across galaxies, in hope of saving the Earth from destruction. The original Space Battleship Yamato is a 26 episode TV series produced by studios Academy Productions and Group TAC. The show was directed by Leiji Matsumoto as well as Noburo Ishiguro, who has also directed shows like Legend of the Galactic Heroes and the original Macross. Yamato was a highly influential anime, as it has influenced works like Mobile Suit Gundam, Macross, and Neon Genesis Evangelion, with NGE director Hideaki Anno citing Space Battleship Yamato as his favorite anime, as well as the show that sparked his interest in creating anime. Yamato would also receive a sequel, as well as movies, spin-offs, and obviously remakes. So Yamato's influence and popularity is not to be understated. But what then about the 2012 remake? The remake of Yamato, titled Space Battleship Yamato 2199, is a 26-episode series produced by Studio AIC and Sebek, with Akihiro Enomoto and Yutaka Isubuchi directing it. 2199 was released in a bit of an unconventional way, as it first previewed the first two episodes on TV, but the rest of the episodes weren't shown until 2013. Instead, they released seven movies containing the 26 episodes. So even though sites like MyAnimalist says it's an OVA, it's technically both, since it also had a regular TV broadcast. Figuring out exactly how well received 2199 was is a bit tricky, but we do know that it had a good enough reception that a remake of Space Battleship Yamato 2 also was greenlit, called 2202, that started airing in 2017. They also made a recap movie for 2199, but that is not really worth watching as it doesn't add much of anything, it only really provides a shorter alternative to watching the series, and I would not recommend doing that. One of the things that I appreciate about 2199 is that it's not just a carbon copy of the original Yamato with updated visuals. It tells the same story as the original, but it also made some changes to the cast of characters, as well as the main focus of the two shows being quite different. It makes 2199 feel like a breath of fresh air, rather than just the same Yamato over again. It allows the remake to show its own strengths, rather than just being an unremarkable show that pales in comparison to the original. Also, if I may be so bold as to say it, 2199 also fixes an issue with the original story that happened at the end, but that's all I'm gonna say about that. Another thing that 2199 changed from the original was the supporting cast. There are a lot more characters in the remake, and they get more of a chance to shine than the supporting cast in the original does. This is because 2199 focuses a lot more on the plots that are brewing under the surface, the differing factions the crew are split into, and their ideas on how to avoid humanity going extinct. It also helps to show that the supporting cast is way more diverse than the original. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that the original is worse because of this. I'm just using this as an example because it highlights the strength of 2199. The original's focus is more on the adventure to Iskandar and the battles they face along the way. This isn't to say that the characters get neglected in the original, the main characters get their time to shine, and following them on their journey is a lot of fun. So now you know a little bit about these two versions of Yamato, but which of them should you watch? This is where you would expect me to say something like, watch whichever one you want, but I'm gonna mix it up on you. I think you should watch both of them. Both the original and the remake has something different to add, and they are not so similar that watching both of them should become a problem. The original is more about the journey to Iskandar, and humanity's struggles, while 2199 is more about the crew and the differing factions ideas and plans on how to prevent humanity from going extinct in the event that their main plan won't work out. 
So yeah, I think they are both worth your time. However, if you really don't want to watch both of them, then the one I would recommend just a little bit more is 2199. Don't get me wrong, they're both fantastic shows. But for me, 2199 just edges it due to them fixing the ending to the original. So those were my thoughts on Space Battleship Yamato and the remake 2199. Both of them are absolutely fantastic shows that I wholeheartedly recommend. But if I had to pick a favorite from the two, I'd have to pick 2199. I enjoyed them both a whole lot, but sadly the original messed up a little bit with the ending. But that was enough for me to think 2199 just edges it. But that's just my opinion. What about you? Have you seen the original or the remake? And in that case, which did you prefer? Also, if you've enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more anime related content from the Anime Top Scholar. Also, don't forget to share the video with your friends if you think they would be interested.